Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NPGO Traders. My name is Taryn, and this is Mono Green Stompy. Standard is in an interesting place right now. Nearly every color is great for one reason or another. We've got Ramanap Red, Mono Black Zombies, and this Mono Green Stompy deck. This deck starts small and then ramps to play bombs turn over turn. But before I get into the video, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more content like this in the future. It helps us know that you care. All right, so coming up at the one mana slot, we've got one creature. Two green belt rampage are here, and boy are they ferocious. While being an energy producer, the turn two play after an attune with Aether is pretty relevant. A three four also blocks the majority of threats in standard at the moment, but we're only running two so we don't get stuck in an energy bouncing loop. Moving up to the two mana slot, we've got four creatures here. Two channeler initiate, four duskwalk recruiter, four long tusk cub, and two sylvan advocate. The channelers are here to help us tap for extra mana, the recruiters are here to dig for our threats and make our creatures even cheaper, the cub is here to deal damage and be an aggro clock, and the advocates are here to help represent mid to late game damage as the match drags on. Each creature here is important and does their job well, but they all die to a fatal push, so make sure to keep up one mana for protection for a card we'll talk about in just a second. But moving up to three drops, we've got two Ronus the Indomitable and four Tireless Tracker. Ronus becomes an onboard pump spell most of the time, which is usually just fine, and the tracker, if not dealt with early, turns on Ronus, draws his cards, and grants us a ton of value. Both creatures here are great and help us go big for only three mana of piece. Finally, moving up to the bomb of the deck, we've got four Virtuous Gear Hulk. The Gear Hulk is just straight value town. Coming down, pumping out our board to go wide, or pumping our board to resist a negative one, negative one board wipe removal. The Gear Hulk creates a situation where our opponent must answer it or die. And that is it for all we have. 24 creatures in total. The rest, pump spells, protection spells, ramp spells, and yes, a planeswalker. We've got three Nessa Voices Zendikar in the deck to help pump our board state or provide an additional blocker. Most of the time she comes down in twos, allowing a negative two counter placement followed by an additional negative few counter placement. Crazy good value. Next up we've got Ramp. Four Tune with Aether is here to help us stabilize the land every turn and give our energy creatures a bit more value once they hit the board. A Tune with Aether will be a green deck staple until rotation for sure. So the one negative thing we have against this deck right now is this. Removal. A turn one fatal push kills most of our creatures and prevents us from overcoming our opponent. But we have something to help against that. Four Blossoming Defense are here to make sure our creatures live through a removal spell and can even trade up for value. Blossoming Defense is, again, one of the best green combat tricks out there, as it saves your creatures outright and can help you stabilize. For the last three spells, we've got one Overcome and two Hour of Promise. Overcome may seem like an odd inclusion here, but since our board state can go wide with a lot of creatures, giving our board plus two plus two and trample is no joke. That can close out a game extremely quickly once you hit turn four or five. Many opponents can't block well enough for this, to not be severely damaged or be dead outright. Hour of Promise is here for late game ramp and to help us make an even bigger board state. Creating two two twos is quite easy in the deck, and you'll be using this on turn four or five frequently. Again, value town, population, us. The last two cards on the main board besides land? Ronus's Monument. This card is way better than it seems. This makes over half your creatures straight one drops, and it even pumps your board to absurd levels. Don't have energy for the Rampager? No problem, just bounce him twice and play him a third time to get three plus two plus two triggers on a creature that's on board. Just dirty. The Monument is a super useful tool in overcoming your opponent early. But that is it for the main board, let's go over lands. And we've got a simple shakedown. Three Desert of the Indomitable for cycling lands lands, four Haship Oasis for pump spells, one Scavenger Grounds for anti-graveyard hate, and only 12 forests. 20 lands in total. Thanks to a tune and the initiate, running 20 lands is no problem. That is the full 60, but let's say we're having trouble. Let's go over the sideboard. One life goes on to help against the red deck wins meta, since this can buy us a few extra turns almost, four Descenders Deliverance for Artifact Hate, two Heroic Intervention for some extra protection, two Rabid Bite for creature removal, two Clear Shot for efficient removal, one Prowling Sipopper to fight the control meta, two Nissa Vital Force for more late game bombs, and one Planted Crusher to fight removal hate decks. And that is the full 75. The deck is coming to about 90 tickets on mpgotraders.com, and that's due to Ronus, Tireless Tracker, and the Gear Hulk. Decent replacements for these cards would be Vizier of the Menagerie for Tireless Tracker since it can basically be a card draw, Ridge Scout Tusker for Gear Hulk since it helps grow your board state, and maybe Devotee of Strength to replace Ronus? Though that's a hard argument. Regardless, the deck is a ton of fun, and I recommend it greatly. It does really well against a lot of matchups on MTGO, and I'm sure it'll do well until rotation. But that is it for the video, folks. What did you guys think of the deck? Love it? Hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Until next time, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.